here at the Stevenson Branch uh, campground at the waterfront where the Stevenson Branch and North Chick Creek come together. It's very pretty. Uh, almost all the leaves are off the trees, so it's not the most picturesque, but there's still all the rhododendron and stuff like that in the area. We're making some coffee, and our favorite coffee that we've discovered for the backcountry is this stuff from Trader Joe's. What does it cost? 10 cents or 14 cents a packet? Yeah. Something like that we figured out. It's a 4.5 mile hike to, uh, from Mont Lake Trailhead. It's a 4.5 mile hike. And uh, it basically starts by going relatively steeply up and flat for a while. And uh, a big descent down to the water and then kind of along North Chick Creek for a while. And uh, I'll show you over at the campsite now. Makes setting up a tent always so stressful, I asked. What did she say? You. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. You do. Here's Camp Stevenson Branch Camp. There's some cool uh, rock chairs that people have assembled over the years. Beautiful cliff formations. A very homey spot, I would say, as far as campsites go. There's multiple spots here available, so it's, it's not like it's just one for yourself. This is our first time sleeping in our new tent it weighs 1.8 pounds as shipped with all the bags and all the stakes and all the guy lines uh it sleeps two it's called the gossamer of the two and it's a single wall non-freestanding tent which means you have to um pitch it which is not hard but you do need to bring trekking poles so that's part of the weight uh if you weren't going to bring trekking poles anyway you know and then this area is extremely dry right now but even with the dryness, you still have... Uh, I don't know if you could swim in here when the water level's higher. Maybe. Uh, I mean, you certainly could. I don't know that it's amazing for that. But, yeah. Pretty little spot. Spot. Pitch dark. Fritos. And we call it Frito beans. Andrew Skirker calls it beans and rice and Fritos and cheese. <laughs> the best. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Thanksgiving meal. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving morning. <laughs> uh, so this is Wednesday, and uh, there's actually a joke about ultralight backpackers arguing about whether or not Frito beans is a uh, acceptable alternative to Thanksgiving dinner, and this is our Thanksgiving dinner, and might even taste better than what we get tomorrow. All right, it's morning, and coffee is on. We have uh, tons of condensation inside of the tent, which is a single wall, which is kind of expected. Uh, we're right by a creek, so it's extremely humid. And um, if you've never checked uh, out this company, <clears throat> check them out, Govi. They make these little temperature sensors, humidity sensors. I really like taking them with me. Um, and I'll show you in a moment what the app looks like. You can um, data log temperature and humidity all night long. We got down to 36 degrees last night. Well, pretty much right now because it's uh, 7 a.m., it's the coldest part of the morning, and 93% um, humidity. And uh, it's actually pretty nerdy, but also pretty fun to see the humidity drop on the chart when you like open um, the tent door and things like that. So if you're at all interested in that kind of stuff, it can be kind of fun. This is also adding to the humidity, so I'm gonna drink a coffee right, It now. is the morning, we have our coffee. Uh, so a little bit about the night. So it got down to, well, basically right now it's 37 degrees. It's cold part of the morning. Sun's just coming up. 93% uh, humidity in the tent. And uh, basically we were in, um, I had one of these uh, foam pads from uh, Thermarest, three quarter length. Uh, we mainly brought that for sitting out on the rocks and drinking coffee in the creek bed. And it's also the padding for my gossamer murmur bag and then i had uh, an inflatable pad from thermarest the neo air x therm and she has a older neo air and then we both have these um quilts top quilts from sierra designs and i have the 35 degree one which is a um an iso limit rating of 27 and a comfort of 37. so basically i was right at the comfort level and I was warm enough, and hers is a limit of 21 and a comfort of 27, because she seems a little bit colder than I do. Comfort of 32. Sorry, comfort of 32. So you were five degrees from your comfort, and I was right at the comfort, so. Um, I was totally warm. 
Yeah, and she's, she, you're normally quite cold on backpacking trips. Mm -hmm. So you slept in a down jacket and a fleece and thick hiking pants and socks and mm -hmm. this quilt and a Neo Air pad. And uh, I basically did the same. No fleece though, or anyway. Uh, so when we weighed in uh, yesterday before we left uh, with my Gossamer Gear Murmur bag and the tent, I took the tent, I was at 8.5 pounds. She has her Arn Featherlight Freedom bag without the front pockets because it was a short trip. You were at 10.5 pounds. Uh, that was that was without water, and then I took about five pounds of water, two and a half liters of water. So, um, yeah, basically, weight without weight without water was 20 pounds for both of us, uh, and we knew it was going to be about 37 degrees. So it's almost you know it's the cold end of a three season backpacking trip. So it's just a single overnighter, four and a half miles in, four and a half miles out. Um, so yeah, maybe that's interesting to someone. Um, the tent did build up a lot of condensation, but we're right at the creek bed and, um, we didn't, you didn't vent your door at all. Like you should have. They were ants in my shoes last They were ants in her shoes. She was afraid of ants. So this is her level of intensity. There might be ants. So happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.